Senate of the Day review? Yes, sir. Ambray Premier, let's do it. What is good YouTube? Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike, Michael, Mikey Clone. If you tuned in, thank you for doing so. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. To all my subscribers and to all my viewers, thank you very much. I just want to say thank you for the support. It does mean a hell of a lot. Right, I'm going to talk to you today about my scent of the day. I was going to review another fragrance, but I sprayed this on and I thought, do you know what? I haven't spoke about this yet, so I just need to talk about it a little bit. It is coming from the house of Javoy, and it is Ambre Premier. Right, all the fragrances come in these boxes that you've got like a little tassel, so to speak, to pull the bottle out, and it sits in there like so. This is a 100ml bottle, and it is other perfume concentration. Hang on a minute, whoa. I don't want that dropping. That you've got a nice texture to the box. They look great on the shelf, they really do. And then look at the bottle, look. Look at the curve, just look at the shape of it. It's got a nice curve to it. I love good looking bottles and the weight of these caps are solid. Listen, they are solid heavy metal. They would cause some serious damage. Right, I'm gonna spray the fragrance and then I'm gonna tell you the notes and just let you know what I get. But I'm going to mention this from the get-go because I don't want anyone being disappointed. This is a very, very linear fragrance. I know some people are only into complex fragrances. I know some people don't mind. Me personally, myself, I don't mind if it's linear, if it's complex. As long as it smells good and gets the job done, I don't care. That's just my own personal opinion. But let's spray a little bit of this just... I'm wearing it, but I'm going to spray it again just to show you the atomizer. The not bad atomizer. Right. You've got citrus and spices in the top. You've got rose in the mid, and in the base, you've got amber, vanilla, and patchouli. I hardly get the, the opening is basically what you're going to get through the life of the fragrance apart from the later dry down but we'll get to that in a second i don't get any citruses there is something bright there but then it's gone then you're getting the spices it's like a spicy ambery patchouli bomb it really is with little touches of rose and vanilla that is how the fragrance rides all the way through the life of the fragrance but on my skin, once it really starts calming down, the rose amps up. You've still got the patchouli and the amber. The rose amps up. You get little more touches of the vanilla in there. It's sweet. It's cosy. You get It gives off a nice warm vibe. It's a great cold weather fragrance. It really is. I know I'm not probably selling it by saying it's linear, but I'm telling you the truth. It is a very linear fragrance, but if you like amber and patchouli, I'm telling you people, try it, just sample this fragrance. Get yourself a one mil sample for five pound, give it a go and see what you think. Because to me, this does smell very, very, very nice. It is unisex. I believe it leans a little bit more to the masculine side because it's, it, it's quite heavy because of the patchouli and the amber. But you've got the vanilla in there. You've got the rose. So to me, yes, it's unisex. It's sweet. It's warm. The first hour projection is great. It really, really is. Then it calms down a bit. I, I get about seven, six to seven hours. Then it's done on my skin. You can detect it on your clothes the next day. I would dress this fragrance up, but 
I've dressed it to, I can't get my words out. I've dressed it down a few times. So wear it whenever you want. I wouldn't rock this in the summer. No, to me, this is a spring and winter fragrance. It really is. It is suited for the colder weather. Like I say, in the top, I don't get no citruses. I get something bright, something pops, and then it's gone. And then you've got the spices, the amber, the patchouli, little dose of vanilla in there, the rose. The way it's just blended, it does. it's smooth. There's nothing harsh about this. I just like, I enjoy wearing this fragrance. I enjoy the way that rose comes out a little bit more once the fragrance starts calming down. I love this fragrance. I've said it in all my Javoy reviews that I've done on their fragrances in my videos that I all the ones that I own, I enjoy. Like sometimes if you buy five or 10 from a certain brand, normally there's a couple in there that you're a little bit, mm, yeah, not too bad, but I wouldn't miss it. I would miss all my fragrances that I own from the house of Javoy because they all just hit. I think they're all great wares and I think they're worth their money. I really do. Right, so I've covered it. Unisex, where to wear it, longevity. Yeah, just a great smelling fragrance, people. Let me know if you've tried this one. Let me know if you've, or what you've tried from their house. This is an older fragrance. I believe this come out in 2011 or 2012. It's an oldie, but I'm telling you, it is a goodie, definitely. And I don't know, I don't see a lot of reviews on this house. I really don't. And I mean, I'm just going to talk about them. I'm going to talk about what I love. And I hope that you love these fragrances too. Right, people, thank you for sticking with me. Remember, smelling goods, always a pleasure and never a chore. I'm going to say it again. Look at that bottle. Look. Gorgeous. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.